we're asked to solve the given quadratic equation and to do this we're going to be using the box method of factoring. So recall that the box method of factoring only looked at this trinomial x squared minus 8x plus 16 and recall that we always try to pull out a GCF first. In this case there is no GCF to pull out. So now what we're going to do is we're going to write our first term in the first box, x squared, and then our last term in the last box, so plus 16. So now that we've done that, we multiply the coefficients, so in this case 1 times 16, which is 16, and we want all of the factors of 16. So we will multiply 1 times 16, and then we will multiply 2 times 8 and 4 times 4. Now, these are the only possible factors of 16. So now, we want to obtain the set of factors that would combine some way to give us negative 8. So the only way to get 8 really is with 4 and 4. Now, recall for a minute that the only way to get a positive number when multiplying is if you had a positive times a positive or a negative times a negative. So <clears throat> we would have in this case minus 4 and minus 4 would give us negative 8. So we're going to take this and we're going to write it in the remaining boxes adding x to each. Very well. So now we have x squared and minus 4x here and minus 4x plus 16. The next thing to do is factor out the greatest common factor from the rows and the columns. So x squared and minus 4x, the GCF here is an x, minus 4x and a plus 16, the GCF here is a minus 4. And it's minus again, it's negative because the contents inside this box that it's touching are also negative. Looking at the columns, x squared and minus 4x. Again, the greatest common factor here is x. And minus 4x plus 16, the greatest common factor here being 4. And in this case, a negative 4, since the contents of the box that it's touching are negative inside. So, right here we have x minus 4 times x minus 4. So, these are our two factors. And recall that you may also see them written like this. X minus 4, quantity squared. But remember that this also equals 0. So, what we're going to do then is set it equal to 0 because we are solving a quadratic equation. So we need to state what x equals. And in each case, since it is the same, x minus 4 equals 0. So we add 4 to both sides. So in this case, x equals 4. So there's only one value for x here, since both of the factors were the same. So the answer here is x equals 4.